Arrow season three finale hit the bullseye with Malcolm taking on the mantle of Ra's al Ghul, a hint at Thea becoming Red Arrow, and Oliver and Felicity driving off into the sunset. We're chatting with the cast to unpack the quiver and find out where Team Arrow goes from here. It felt like a transitionary season. Season one set up season two, and season three very much is gonna set up season four. That being said, there was a real finality about the last part of this year. I mean, the last several episodes for me were very different than anything that I've ever done on the show. I was mean, I was evil. I'm turning into a sociopath in Hong Kong. I was also separated from the cast at large yeah. for large chunks of time. It seems like Oliver has retired at this point. Will you step up as Black Canary? I think so, it seems that way. For the most part, my character has always, you know, she's been very strong, independent. She's sort of on her own path. So your character spent most of this season against Team Arrow. No, he did not spend <laughs> most of this season against Team Arrow. It was only a couple of episodes. It's amazing. It's been blown out of proportion. It's terrible. But you know, he had pretty good motivation. You know, he was rather upset that people didn't tell him about his dead daughter. And then the arrows were flying around, looking like our arrow man was causing issues. You got to kind of don a suit this yeah. season. Will we see you in a little bit more as the future seasons go on? That's a good question. Will you see more Diggle in a suit of some sort, some type of leather clad besides a bomber jacket? Yeah, Diggle's gonna have some type of concealment slash armor thing going on next season. Will he get an official name? He's John Diggle. <laughs> I don't need no damn name. You get to wear some pretty fancy stuff on the show this past season. The Adam suit. Okay, so the Adam suit is really cool. <laughs> Let me get it. And it's not heavy. It's very lightweight because I know you all are very interested in that. I was wearing hockey pads underneath and I was only wearing half of it. And I was on an Apple box <laughs> at like two o'clock in the morning at this, like, at this studio like... called Jam and Jelly. <laughs> and then like the worst part is because I'm wearing like leggings, but then there's like this like a onesie romper that you have to wear under the suit that has, it's like for a guy. So there's like a flap. So I was walking around with like that hat and oh, then okay. the armor on top. So it was just like, <laughs> and then boots, like Uggs. I almost wore it on the carpet. The most interesting thing about doing a, a show that's running on as it is now, like three, four seasons is that, you know, there's so many different colors for the characters you can get. You know, one minute my character's doing some nice things he needs the nice guy in the next minute. He's being a complete filthy blank. <laughs> you know what's cool is that like we've shot 69 episodes and a character like Thea Queen, she's just sort of found herself, yeah. right? What I'm hoping, personally, selfishly, for someone that likes my free time, <laughs> I'd, I'd love some Thea-centric episodes, some Laurel-centric episodes. It was actually awesome because I went to The Flash and that's basically where I get the uh, Sonic yeah. device, and so yeah, the canary scream definitely was so cool. And I, I didn't want to do any of any uh, research into the canary until after I actually had turned. But once I did, I, I looked at the original comics, and I, you know, just her mannerisms and the way she kind of was standing and the way she screamed. I, I didn't want to mimic it. I wanted yeah. to put my own stamp on it, but it also I wanted to. I always want to do the comics justice. There's a big bad guy that Diggle will be involved with uh, next season. It's supposed to be a big season for Diggle, so I, I trust these guys. Priceberg, Guggenheim, Berlanti. I'm, you know these guys like have 1,800 shows on television? <laughs> Where do you want to take the character next season? I want her to get her funny back. You know, I don't want her to be so on. And um, I, need, I need her like, I need her spark back. Her little like, love me, love me, love me. And then yeah. be like, no. So I feel like that means they're gonna have to break up to get that back. No, I don't think so. I want them to work as a couple. They need to be a team. They need to be team players as a couple and see if they can help the Thea, help the Roy. Well, we'll wait and see, but please share a photo of yourself in the half Adam costume on social media. I don't media know if soon. I have it. You need to. It was so dark and so late. I think it's I was somewhere. More, yeah, it's somewhere. Someone has it. I'm gonna hunt it down for Wardrobe you guys. Will have it. Okay. <laughs> You can play out your Arrow fan fiction with action figures from DC collectibles, including Oliver Queen, Black Canary, and Deathstroke. Let us know what you'd like to see happen on Arrow Season 4 using the hashtag DCTV on Twitter.